Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video I got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates for you guys And we are starting, as you can see, with Regan Grimes physique update So he posted a video, a full video of himself posing And as you can see in the caption, he says Feeling flat as a pancake after fasted cardio But I find this time is the best time to pose If you don't embrace the suck of being flat, you will not get in contest shape so yeah, he's obviously very very flat, you can see that he's definitely not full, you can see it everywhere, basically through his chest, through his legs, nothing is really full, I mean lats are not popping, arms are looking flat, he is very very depleted here obviously, and that's probably because he's late, he's definitely running late with conditioning and therefore he needs to suffer, he needs to... He needs to diet really, really hard, and when you do that, you get flat, of course. So, I, I think he still has time, I think he can manage, I think he can make the conditioning for Europa Pro, but, like, is he gonna be at his absolute best? I don't know, I don't know, because, yeah, he, he, I mean, this conditioning for this point in time, it's not that good. And if we talk about the improvements, did he even make any from the last time we saw him on stage? I don't know, man. I, I don't think so. Really, I don't think he, he's probably gonna be very, very similar. I don't see any crazy changes here. You can see the legs. Look at the legs. Like, I mean, the legs, especially the quads, were kind of a weakness for Regan. He definitely needed more, more thickness, especially that lateral head. Uh, and uh, now it's it's really not that much different. I mean, it's fine, but I don't see big, big improvements. Look at his legs right now in this moment when he transitions into the front double bicep. Yeah, you can see right there. Flat. Definitely not, not really improved. So, I mean, for the size of his back and his shoulder width, he definitely needs more tissue to the legs. He has nice adductors and they are creating the illusion of having bigger legs, but really, as far as the, the, the quadriceps itself, both his lateralis and vastus medialis should be bigger so that's definitely one of his weaknesses as well as his arms i think his chest as well but i think he may have made some changes some improvements in his chest uh, you can't really see it right here because as he says he's very flat this is post cardio too but if he really progressed you would have seen it hunter labrada also posted a lot of updates when he was flat when he was depleted and you would see the changes that he made Regan, I don't think he really made that many changes, so I can expect pretty much the same package of Regan. And I don't think he's gonna be super conditioned either. And I don't like to criticize any of Milo Sharchev's clients, because as you guys know, Milo is my countryman, I respect him a lot. But I think he would agree with me, what I'm saying here. I think he spoke about this before, uh, he spoke about Regan's weight in the offseason and, and that he wanted Regan to be much, much heavier to really be competitive. Milos knows, I mean, he knows how heavy Samson gets and he's similar height to Regan, so he's well aware that, that Regan is definitely not uh, at his, he's not at the size that he needs to be at. And as far as conditioning, I guess they're gonna make it, I hope so. Uh, the reason why they are late is, I'm guessing, the fact that Milos tried to grow him into the show. And they were probably eating a lot of food, trying to, to, to make him to grow as much as possible during the prep. But, um, yeah, I mean, you can only grow so much. And now they need to start cutting, so we'll see how much of that will, will stay, how much progress they actually made. But, yeah, in the end, I'm expecting a very, very similar package to what we saw before. If he looks much better... I would be surprised, like really surprised. Uh, I, I saw the back, the back looks good, it looks probably improved, but these these poses from the front, this update, yeah, I don't think he, he really progressed that much. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next we got a little physique update of Phil Heat. Now, in this video, I will not say that Phil Heat is gonna come back, uh, that I think he might come back or anything like that. I don't think so, I mean, I still don't know, but I'm gonna show you, I just wanna show you what he looks like right now in 2023, and damn, he looks good, he still looks very, very good, <laughs> really big, really round, I mean, look at this, look at his freaking triceps, he still has enormous arms, 
ever since he quote unquote retired, I was wondering why is he looking this big and every time I thought he might be coming back, he might do another Mr. Olympia, he might do, I don't know, Atletico on Ronald Classic or something like that. Uh, and like, I, I lost my hope, but I mean, he looks good. Uh, I guess he's staying in this kind of shape because he's still trying to stay relevant in the industry, he's trying to advertise himself, and I'm sure all that goes much easier when you look like this compared to him losing, I don't know, another 50 pounds and weighing like 190, uh, which would kind of be healthy, I guess, for his height. But no, no, he's still maintaining a lot of muscle. Uh, he spoke about what he's using. I believe he's uh, just on TRT and he's using certain SARMs. But no, he's, he's not blasting cycles. And this is what he looks like. Should we trust him on that? Well, sure. I mean, this is probably the guy with the best uh, genetics for bodybuilding ever. If not, then definitely one of the. So I'm sure he's not really using a lot of stuff. I'm sure he's not really... Uh, struggling trying to maintain this kind of muscle mass I, I i think this is going pretty easy for him and so why not if he wanted to get smaller to be healthier he would probably have to force it you know not to train at all probably like not eat any or just a little bit of protein and i don't know, do a bunch of cardio like running like high intensity stuff and even then, I don't know how much muscle would he lose, but as you can see right now, he looks very, very massive, especially for somebody who is retired. How long will he able to maintain this? How long will he want to maintain this? It's a good question. I guess we will find out with time. But once again, he is massive. Do I think he's going to compete again? I don't think so. But yeah, he's definitely maintaining a solid amount of muscle. Alright, next uh, I wanted to talk about Sergio Oliva Jr. and his future plans because I have no idea what his plans are, what the hell this guy is doing, what's he planning. Um, as you can see right here, he posted this video of himself training and yeah, he looks good. I mean, look at the striations in his back and just the, the overall density, fullness, hardness, conditioning. He looks good, I believe he's still in Dubai, he went back to Dubai, actually, uh, they allowed him to travel, to compete. He did that one show, California Pro, and he looked surprisingly good, especially considering what he went through this year, you know, being in jail and everything like that, and you know, and he traveled in the last minute, and I thought he was gonna look much worse than this. But he actually looked good, I mean, I think he really made progress in the offseason, and that's why he looked good like he looked decent but if everything went well for him if there were no hardships he would look a ton better i believe he plays third or fourth at this show and again he was good he had pretty decent conditioning he i think he looked bigger than before better but uh, yeah there were definitely obvious flaws again if everything was perfect for him he would have looked better and he would have done better after this show, it kind of seemed obvious that he was gonna compete again. A couple of weeks ago, he posted this physique update in which he looks very thick, right? In the side chest, in the side leg, and like the arms and, and chest and everything. For a taller bodybuilder, this is solid thickness. But I don't think he announced like specifically which show he's gonna do next. Uh, he posted these uh, two physique updates, these actually two back shots, this one and the next one I'm gonna show you in a moment. And like this is probably his his weakest point, that lower back from behind. It always it's it's never really super tight. Even when he's in condition, there's always some you know some some extra skin. There are some wrinkles. I think he just doesn't have enough muscle in that area and he kind of looks soft, unless, I, I guess he would look really, sh he would look fine if he was completely shredded, uh, yeah, as you can see, that lower back region, even in this variation of pose, it looks, I don't know, it looks weak, but it's not the only issue that he has, he needs to work on just adding overall mass, yes, even still, I know he's a mass monster, but for his height, for his frame, he needs to be even bigger, he needs to be in, in the ballpark of Samson Dauda, that's how big he needs to get if he wants to be like really competitive, if he does that, and I think he was on a really good path uh, last year, last offseason, uh, but that, that, that incident, you know, stopped him, 
I think if he gets back on the track and he regains what he lost during that time and then gets conditioned, he's gonna be really good. We also got a physique update of Brett Wilkin. If you guys don't remember, he qualified last year in one of those post-Olympia shows. So he's qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He had a good long off-season. And I think this was the first off-season that he actually managed to get a little bit chubby. And uh, I think that's why he made a lot of progress. He probably managed to get a lot of food in. Because he's like one of those guys who are really struggling with, uh, with putting on weight. He needs to eat a ton of food. And whenever you see him, he's always lean. But this offseason, he kind of got a little bit of body fat on. Still, he was very, very lean. But because of that, and he looked amazing. He looked really big. Because of that, I believe he actually was eating a lot of food this time around. And that probably means he gained some muscle. And in this physique update, at this point, I think we are like somewhere between and in this physique update he looks good like he looks round he looks uh conditioning looks better now and uh, again he, i think he made progress and with his aesthetics with his shape with his structure if he brought up those legs especially he's gonna be good like he's gonna be very very nice addition to the mr olympia can't wait to see him on stage can't wait to watch the entire olympia it's gonna be a hell of a show but there is still time for a lot of bodybuilders to qualify we'll see we have a couple of very interesting shows coming up soon so guys stay tuned subscribe for the best coverage on youtube and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys want to support me and this channel you can do that by clicking on the link down below in the description of this video and just buying any of the old school lab supplements you like but make sure you use the code even which will also grant you a 15 percent discount so thank you guys so much for all your attention all the best guys and bye bye